So one of the really big questions in evolutionary biology is how do extraordinary novel functions, like clothes that snap, evolve from seemingly mundane ancestors? The remarkable ability to produce loud snaps has evolved independently in two quite different shrimp families. Both families are highly diverse and exhibit unique clothes. These snapping clothes create intense shock waves by closing extremely rapidly. But how did this remarkable ability evolve from simple pinching clothes? We already know how snapping clothes create intense shock waves. First, the movable finger closes extremely rapidly, less than 0.6 millisecond. That quick closing motion jets water so rapidly that a cavitation bubble is produced. A bubble that is actually a vacuum. Then, clasp of the cavitation bubble creates highly destructive shock waves. Significantly, this rapid claw closure requires some kind of energy storage and cocking mechanism, because simple muscle contraction cannot create such rapid motion. So, to understand the evolution of snapping, we must first understand how the energy stretch and cocking mechanisms evolved. We started by examining as many different shrimp as possible. 114 species from 19 families were sampled from various environments around the world, including Panama, Solomon Islands, Canada, and Germany. Clothes were then scanned using state-of-art 3D imaging systems such as confocal laser scanning microscopy and micro CT imaging. We identified crucial features of claw joints that affect closing rates and mapped these onto shrimp phylogenetic trees to reconstruct the evolutionary history of claw joint types. Species of basal caridian shrimp, like this rhynchocinetes, have ordinary ball and socket joints, or what we call simple pivot joints where the movable finger simply rotates about the fulcrum point. This simple pivot joint occurs in several basal lineages of shrimp, the white lineages in this figure. More derived shrimp, like this pandalus species, have an entirely different joint structure. Here the movable finger no longer simply rotates, instead it also slips across a ridge on the palm of the claw. We call this a slip joint, because the movable finger has a distinctive flattened base that slips instead of just rotating. We found slip joints in many Caribbean shrimp species, for example, the pink lineages in this figure. So, a slip joint appears to have evolved very early in this large group of shrimp. Previous work showed that two shrimp families include snapping genera, both the alfide, the familiar snapping shrimps, and the palemonidae. Because snapping requires such rapid claw closure, we suspected some kind of energy stretch and cocking system must have evolved in each of them. Species in both families also shared a slip joint. But in this species, the flattened base of the movable finger travels a much greater distance. Although it might seem strange that non-snapping and snapping taxa share the same joint type, the clothes actually close in very different speed ranges as seen in these frequency distributions. The species that we think store energy exhibit a strongly bimodal distribution of closing speeds. The lower closing speeds, around 40 radians per second, likely arise from simple muscle contraction. However, the rapid closing speed, around 400 radians per second, strongly implies some kind of energy stretch system, where muscles contract before any motion starts and stored energy is released suddenly as the clothes start to close. To confirm how these two kinds of clothes actually work, we conducted physical experiments using greatly enlarged 3D printed scale models. 
Here we simulated contraction of the closer muscle by pulling strings to test the effect of muscle action over a wide range of insertion angles. In the snapping slip joint, many angles of the insertion do not initiate closing when the claw is fully open. These are shown in gold. Only a small range of insertion angles, shown in red, initiate claw closing. So the muscles shown in gold most likely store contracting energy within the muscle before closing. In contrast, the slip joint in a non-snapping claw works much more simply. Only the opener muscle pulls the movable finger open, and all fibers in the closer muscle pull the claw closed. Here is an interpretation of our proposed mechanism. In a snapping slip joint, muscle fibers that attach above the fulcrum, the gold colored one, contract first. This initiates energy stretch and cocks the claw open. The stored energy is then released suddenly when the muscle below the fulcrum, the one shown in red, pull the flattened base of the movable finger across the ridge. This type of joint is technically called a torque reversal joint, because the initial torque or twisting force is opposite to the direction of the closing before the claw starts to close. In contrast, in a non-snapping slip joint, all closer muscle fibers insert below the fulcrum when the claw is fully open, so closer muscle contraction simply closes the claw. These models show how small changes in form can change function dramatically. In other words, how far the base of the movable finger slides make all the difference. Once any closer muscle fibers insert above the threshold over the fulcrum, muscle function changes in a stepwise manner from simple closing to energy stretch and cocking. In conclusion, we show how a fully novel function like energy stretch and cocking in snapping shrimp clothes can arise quite suddenly as a result of minute change in form. Minute morphological change arises by random mutation or developmental plasticity. This subtle change overcomes a critical functional threshold in a salutational manner. The novel functional configuration then facilitates invasion of wholly new adaptive zone and potentially explosive diversification. We suspect such functional evolution may be widespread in animals because it appears to promote rapid diversification. For example, in true snapping shrimp, the two main snapping genera contain over 500 of the 650 species in the whole family. Similar patterns occur in other animals where stinging mandibles and suction discs facilitated diversification in two copepod groups and where suction discs and glue squatting heads facilitated diversification in branchuran fish lice and nastitermitine termites, respectively. If you would like to read more about this study, see detailed results and more spectacular images of shrimp clothes in our current biology paper. We'd like to thank many people and organizations who helped us with various parts of this study. We are particularly grateful for funding from the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada and the Japan Society for the Promotion of Science.